Topic 13, Lesson 2, Multiplying a Fraction by a Whole Number. Well, so far you know that a fraction like 3 eighths can be represented by a product of a whole number and a unit fraction. For example, 3 times 1 eighth. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to find the product of a fraction and a whole number. Our standards are to apply and extend previous understandings of multiplication to multiply a fraction by a whole number and understand that a multiple of a over b as a multiple of 1 over b and use this understanding to multiply a fraction by a whole number and solve word problems involving multiplication of a fraction by a whole number e.g. by using visual fraction models and equations to represent the problem. Our mathematical practices we're going to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. We're going to reason abstractly and quantitatively we're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others, model with mathematics, look for and make use of structure. Our focus is how can you find the product of a fraction multiplied by a whole number? Well, let's take a look. How much tomato juice is needed for a group of four people if each person gets one third cup of juice? Or how much is needed if they each get two-thirds cup. So we're looking at we have four people and if each person gets one-third of a cup how much do they need or if they get two-thirds of a cup how much is needed altogether. Well here we are four people get one-third each. So we have one-third, 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 one-third and so we can just add them up since the denominator is the same that stays the same and we have one, two, three, four thirds. And that's what we would need. We need four thirds. Another way of looking at this is again since the denominator is the same and each one is a third we can actually multiply because there's four of them. There's one, two, three, four. So four times one third is still going to get us four thirds. And if we wanted to go ahead and this is a, if we want to make it into a mixed fraction, this would actually equal one and one third. So four thirds is an improper fraction, one and one third is a mixed number. Let's try another one. So if four people get two thirds each, what does that look like? So here we are, we still have our same denominator all the way across, and each of these is two-thirds. And you could easily just add them up. Two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds and we're going to come up with eight-thirds because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight we get eight-thirds. So that's what it would look like here. Two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds plus two-thirds. Again, the denominator stays the same and we just add straight across the numerators, 2, 4, 6, 8, and there we go. Or we can look at it this way. Since there are four, one, two, three, four people, and they each get two-thirds, it would be four times two-thirds. Again, the numerator, uh, the, excuse me, the denominator stays the same. Multiply across, we get eight-thirds. And that's what it is as an improper fraction as a proper or a mixed number, we're actually going to get 2 and 2 thirds. So it means the same. Alright, well now try some on your own. Good luck.